What is up you guys? It's your big bro Joy. Welcome back to the channel. Much love and light to everybody out there. Hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day. Uh yeah, today we're gonna be doing um I'm gonna do an all signs uh zodiac read is we're gonna go down the list from Aries to Pisces and we're gonna be seeing what the overall energy is coming up for you guys in December. Okay, there's gonna be a quick sneak peek into the overall energy. Uh, that is surrounding you guys for the month of December, okay? Um, let me go ahead and clear the energy out here before we get started. Let me get my water, one second. All right, you guys, so. Okay, we're about to start off with Aries. So we're gonna see what the overall energy is for Aries in the month of December. I'm gonna start off with my colors deck. What's up for Aries in the month of December, please? Elevation, you guys are going through a period of elevation in December, Aries, okay? I don't know, in um, whatever area this is, you guys are going through elevation that's gonna be and overall energy for you. Overall, this elevation that you're going through is going to bring in more happiness in your life, okay? Um, hearing like more peace, serenity, happiness in your life overall for the month of December for Aries, okay? This is you breaking free from uh, bad habits, addictions, uh, bad, um, I'm hearing bad eating habits for people, uh, codependent relationships. Um, all the additions that keep you trapped and stuck. You guys are moving on past these things and you're elevating on, okay, past them in the month of December, Aries. Let's see what else we got for you here. I'm hearing the job well done for you guys, two Aries. What else we got for Aries? What else we got for Aries for December? Four of Cups we have for you, and then we have the Three of Cups. Oh uh, yeah, celebration. This is a celebration coming, okay? You guys, I feel like you're transitioning from this energy here, right? You guys may have been like a little like, oh my God, I'm, I'm so freaking bored, ain't nothing popping off for me, and now things are getting ready to pop off for you. Things are, this is forward movement for you guys, right? This is movement in the right direction that you've been waiting for, right? This is that movement that you've been waiting to see, that you've it's been taking a long time. It's finally here, you know, in some area of your life, and it's gonna bring in some celebration. This is good times with friends, this is parties, you may be invited to parties, you may be going out, hanging out, having a good time. You know, overall positive energy for yourself in the month of uh, December, Aries, okay? We also have two of cups on the bottom of the deck. So this could mean you just getting together with people or you coming together, something finally happening for you that you've been waiting for, like you getting that job offer, you getting that call, or you getting that um, relationship, or you just being able to, to connect with people on a better level, you know, uh, that makes you open to, you know, building more positive connections with people, getting out, socializing, fraternizing, you know, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, that's what I see for you guys. Let me see here. Let me use this Kipler deck to see what we got here for you guys. Okay, bad health. If you guys have been and what I'm getting with this bad health card, I'm getting that you guys are coming out of a period of bad health. You're coming out of a period of stress. Of I'm hearing depression for some of you guys as well, you know? It could be cold, flu, things like that. Overall, I see that your health is going to be improving as well in this month, okay? So that's what I got for you guys. Aries, we're going to move on to the next sign, okay? Let me get the timestamp here. 
We have five. Okay. So Taurus, what's coming up for Taurus? What's the overall energy for Taurus in the month of December? Overall energy for Taurus in the month of December. Psychic attacks. What the hell, Taurus? Psychic attacks. You guys could be whew, at the center of psychic attacks from people, okay? Um, you guys are going to have to make sure that you keep your protection up. You go above and beyond when it comes to protecting your energy during this time uh, for the month of December. Because you got some people out here who are trying to attack you guys psychically, okay? This could cause you to have headaches, low motivation, depression, confusion, all this, all that type of stuff, okay? We got spiritual guidance. You got to pay attention to the spiritual guidance that you are receiving. Your ancestors, your guides, your spirit team is around you right now. Taurus, they're wanting you guys to make sure that you stay tuned into the information that they're giving you. They're letting you know they're trying to give you the one up or try to help you to dodge these bullets is what I'm hearing. And try to help you to, to cleanse this energy out that people are trying to send to you, right? Yeah, because you guys are leveling up. We got Queen of Coins energy here. You guys are leveling up, right? So you guys are, uh, I'm, I'm hearing ascending the throne. You guys are leveling up. You guys are, there's more security, more stability coming into your life. And there's going to be people around you who don't like that. They don't want to see that, you know? They feel like maybe that you don't deserve it, you know? So there's going to be people coming for your throne, you feel me? And they're going to come in the form of physical, I mean, who? Ooh, hopefully not physical, physical. Y'all be careful out here, okay? Psychic attacks, okay? What else we got for you? Yeah, this is that whole jealousy kind of vibe that I'm getting here, okay? Jealousy vibe. You guys are having a whole brand new start coming up for yourself. I feel like that's the reason why you guys are getting this negative energy because you guys are leveling up. You're bossing up. You're moving forward, you feel me? This is a new start for you guys, right? This is messages coming through that giving you money-making opportunities, for some of you guys, this could be a love offer. You know, if you end up in um, the market for that as well. Overall, there's some sort of uh, beneficial new start that's happening for you guys that people know, people could see, people see that's coming for you guys, right? We have two of swords, and then we also have six of swords. This is you finally making that decision to do whatever the hell that you need to do. You feel me? This is you finally getting out of this indecision. Okay, if you are stuck in this indecision, it is due to psychic attacks. You just need to clear your energy, okay? Do what you got to do. Whatever way that, that makes sense to you, clear your energy, right? Because once you make that decision, once you get past that little hurdle with these psychic attacks, you're moving on from this, this energy, right? This is return to sender energy for me. This is also... Uh, vibe and energy clearing you know you're cleansing the energy you're, you're smudging you're saging you're, you're doing spiritual cleanses this is you getting away from the drama getting away from the chaos and moving towards more uh a more sense of peace for yourself okay more comfortable energy for yourself getting out of the chaos getting out of the, this storm energy over here right and moving into more so into balance we got king of cups yeah this is you balancing out you know this is you moving into emo emotional balance, getting past this. People are trying to stress you out, but this is you moving above and beyond that, right? This is you being safe, feeling comfortable, feeling serene, feeling at peace with yourself, you know? For some of y'all, this is you feeling in love, right? This is somebody else, could be somebody else coming into who, who has on the love front for people. This could be somebody who is emotionally mature and knows um, who is very, very sure about their feelings for you, who's coming in, you know, with, with some sort of offer, okay? But this is you, you guys are moving towards more stability in your life, okay, Taurus? You're moving towards more balance, more peace, and serenity, I'm hearing. Okay, we got Eight of Wands. Yeah, this is that communication, that forward movement that's coming in for you guys. So this could be somebody contacting you saying, hey, what's up? Let's go out on a date, da 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 whatever. Or this could just be me, be you moving forward, right? Be you getting job offers, job opportunities, or opportunities to do the things that you finally want to do in your life, okay? We got Ten of Wands. Yeah, some you guys are closing out a cycle, okay? What was a burden, you're moving past that. What was trying to be a hindrance, you're moving past it. You're moving on and you're moving on. See, you, you, you got strength here, right? 
You guys are more strong than you realize it, right? You guys are more balanced than you realize it. You guys are, t are taming your emotions as well with this King of Cups energy, right? You're not letting this stuff, letting haters or jealousy or stuff like that keep you uh, from moving forward and keep you blocked off, all right? Let's get you guys a kipper. What do we got for Taurus? Ooh, we got for Taurus. We're jumped out. Occupation. Yeah, you guys are... I feel like if you guys are looking for a job, you guys are getting ready to 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 uh, to get those offers coming in, right? There's going to be movement in that area when it comes to making money and when it comes to your stability. Some of you guys may be doing a work from home job as well or, or some sort of uh, skill that you have that you could do at home that you're going to be able to monetize, okay? So that's what I got for you guys, Taurus. We're going to move on to the next sign. All right, Gemini, it's going to be your reading. We're going to see what is the overall energy that's coming up for Gemini in the month of December. These are short, quick readings to give you overall energy. What's coming up for Gemini? What's coming up for Gemini? Faith, okay. We got faith. What else we ooh? Confidence. So for you guys, we have faith. Okay, your faith is gonna be improving. Okay, your confidence is gonna be improving. I feel like there's gonna be synchronistic events that are taking place. Like whatever you're trying to manifest, you're gonna start seeing little, you know, uh little clues that tell you that you're on the right path that, that it's working, okay? control right you, you you're moving in i feel that you guys are learning how to deal with the things that you can't control and things that you can't control all right being at ease with that accepting that and also you actually taking control of your situation as well right and and doing your part and what you can do in manifesting the things that you want to manifest in your life frequency i i feel i see you guys moving more so into realizing that your energy your out energy output counts right like what you think counts what you feel counts and you guys are being you guys are understanding that hey you know if i really want something to happen i gotta have that faith and i gotta have confidence in my faith to bring it to bring it to fruition you feel me so it, it, if i'm sitting here thinking oh my god i'm never gonna have this i'm never gonna have this and that's what it's gonna be you feel me I see you guys more so understanding how powerful you really are, how much of powerful manifestors you are, and you can make things happen. You feel me? You guys, I feel like you guys are coming because this was in reverse. Five of coins was in reverse. So you guys are coming out of this energy, right? Uh, but it's up to you. I'm hearing that it's up to you. If you guys are having tough times with, with money or um, tough times with a situation, with a connection with another person, you're missing somebody or stuff like that, and you wanna get over it, or you wanna get you guys back together, you gotta work on manifesting what you want. You gotta work on putting that positive energy out there. Because if you're saying, you're thinking, oh, woe is me, and nothing ain't never gonna happen, and that's what the, you're gonna get, you feel me? That's what you're gonna get, period. Six of coins, see? Six of pentacles. This is a universe working with you, you feel me? That's why y'all gotta, Y'all got to know that, like, you got to do your part. You can't expect the universe and God and your, you know, your spiritual team or whatever. You can't expect them to just, you just sit back, kick your feet up and just, and shit just miraculously, miraculously happen. No, you got to do your part as well. And this is it. Your blessings coming through, right? This is you coming into a more, um, more balanced situation for yourself to where you're able to, 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 to take care of yourself and also take care of other people as well. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is you. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I thought this was six of coins, but yo, that's what we getting. That's what it is. I'm just gonna go with it because that's what I was feeling. This is siete de bitcoins, right? So this is seven of coins. So this is saying too, is like what you've been waiting for is getting ready to pop off, right? What you've been waiting for is getting ready to happen. You just gotta keep that faith. You just gotta. Something is about to happen. Look what we got. 
eight of coins, your hard work paying off. See what I'm talking about? Your hard work is paying off, so don't give up now. Don't give up right when you about to reach the, the, the finish line. You got debt. So this is telling you guys that that transition period is about to happen right now, right? It's about to happen right now. And your dream, whatever you've been trying to focus, whatever you've been trying to manifest, is about to take take place. It's about to come into union. You're about to come into union with whatever it is that you've been trying to like manifest for yourself, okay? Let's see what else we got here for you guys. What else we got for Gemini? Wow, Gemini, yo, unexpected income is coming through for you guys. So if you guys have been, or this is unexpected income, and this is also um, if you've been wanting some sort of attention from somebody that's coming through, right? The energy that you need or the words that you need. I'm hearing some sort of messages that you wanted to get or some kind of communication as well. But yeah, this is unexpected. You, you're not expecting it, but so expect it, you know, expect the best for yourself. You got a child. This is a new start. Just like we talked about with death here. This is that, that new start that's coming, that transition that you're going through. You're, you're going, coming into a new cycle, Gemini, right? This is that new start that's coming up for you. And this is imprisonment, right? You may have felt like you were trapped. You may have felt like things were not going your way. But it, it's I'm hearing that it's all in your mind, right? It's all what you think and what you feel. If you if you believe in the illusion, then you're going to get more of that. You feel me? So you guys got to be mindful because you guys are powerful manifestors right now. You got to be mindful of that, okay? So that's what I got for you, Gemini. We're going to move on to the next sign, which is Cancer. All right. So, Cancer, what's coming up for you guys? Overall energy for the month of December. Overall energy for the month of December for Cancer. We have confidence for you guys. And we have control. Okay. On the bottom of the deck, we got prosperity. All right. So you guys are, are going to be feeling more confident. You feel me? I feel like something, things are going to be taking place. I don't know if it's a shift in the energy or if it's the fruits of your labor is paying off or something good finally happened for you. Overall, you're going to be feeling more confident within yourself and your abilities and what you can do in life. You know, who you can have, what you can manifest, you know. This is control. You guys are controlling the things that you can't control. You're not like allowing, you know the world and life just to blow you here and there you you're actually taking a stand right you're taking a stand and you're focusing your energy you're focusing your mind you know you're using your manifestation energy your manifestation powers right and you're dealing with things that you can't control and accepting what you can't control and controlling and, and taking actions and the things that you can control and it's bringing in prosperity for you guys right Whatever you view as prosperity and abundance, that's what's coming in for you guys in the month of uh, December. Okay, Cancer? What else we got for you guys? What else we got for Cancer? Yeah, you guys are going through a tower moment. I'm hearing this is not a tower moment for you guys to be afraid of. This is one that's going to bring in that, that change that you need to. And this is you... Letting go of the need to try to control things and stop going against things. Let things in where they're meant to end. You feel me? I'm getting let things in where they're meant to end and go with the flow with this because this is happening for your benefit. This tower moment is coming through for you guys, Cancer, for your benefit to bring you in line with what you want. You feel me? You got the moon energy here. So this is something this is you're going into this thing blind. Okay. Okay. You don't know what's coming up for you guys. So that's why it could be kind of like scary, right? But spirit is saying, no, you ain't got nothing to worry about because you're moving towards prosperity. You're moving towards abundance and peace and prosperity uh, with whatever this situation is for you guys. We got three of wands. You've been waiting long enough, right? So it's like, okay, you've been waiting long enough. We're going to break up this waiting energy and we're going to make some things start popping and happening for you. We got six of cups. You guys could... Um, this could be, it's giving me, you know, soulmate vibes too. You can have a reunion with someone from the past who you've been waiting to see. You've been waiting for with this three of wands energy. Or this could be some sort of balance returning to your life. Uh, some a, a sense of peace, a sense of um, harmony coming in back into your life, you know? Um, I don't know why I, get, why I got that soulmate 
uh, vibe from this one too for some of you guys. But that's only that's for some of you guys, okay? And this is more options coming into your life as well, okay? This is more options. So one of the options for some of you guys is going to be that soulmate uh, love, right? Or you're going to have more job opportunities coming through, right? This is having more doors open for you than you thought that you could have open for you, Cancer. All right? This is having, this is more doors. So this is working to your advantage. Look, we got that message coming through. Somebody's going to be contacting you. It could be with some sort of offer, some sort of love offer, some sort of job offer, some sort of friendship offer, some, some kind of offer or some message is coming through. And it has to do with some of you guys for the, for a job. Okay. For what you do for work, right? This could be if you do your own thing, if you're your own boss, this could be uh, you're getting more business prospects, okay? You're getting that job offer. This could also be somebody asking you out, somebody showing interest in you as well. Yeah, you guys have worked hard enough, right? You guys have done a lot of work, and now it's time for you guys to reap the benefits. Now it's time for you guys to start moving forward, right? Now it's time for you guys to elevate with the official person. This is you moving up in the ranks, right? This is you finally moving forward in life in some aspects um, in your life, okay? So that's what I got for you guys, Cancer. That's the energy that's going to be around you guys. All right. Let's see what else we got for the next sign. Leo. Leo is the next one. Okay. 2139. All right, Leo. So let's see what we got coming up for you guys, Leo. What is coming up for Leo? What's the overall energy for Leo in December? Overall energy for Leo in December. Oops. Ooh, confidence. We've been getting a lot of the, this card has been keep, keep coming out. Confidence. You guys are gonna be feel more confident. Okay. Dealing with any confident issues, right? Contemplation. Thinking about things. Thinking about. How you thinking about what needs to change, what needs to go, what you need to allow in, thinking about where you want things to go. This is you making plans. This is you going through some sort of planning stage, right? Some events taking place that allow you to, to, to um, think about, you know, something's going to happen that's going to make you guys uh, have to make a plan, you know, a game plan for yourself. Wow, luxury. You guys could be afforded more luxury during the month of December as well, Leo, okay? This is you finally getting the things that you want. Hey, some of y'all could be getting y'all designer bags, y'all designer shoes, clothes, whatever, cars for some people. This is you. I'm here for some of y'all. Y'all coming into some sort of money, okay? Y'all coming into some sort of money that's going to allow you to be able to, to buy the things that you've dreamt of, right? Or buy something that you, you, you dreamt of. Right. This is you having the luxury is having the option, the ability to buy things that majority of people are not able to buy or can't buy, you know, comfortably they can't buy, you know. But this is you having I'm hearing like access to op, the, it's, the world is open enough for you guys in some way. Leo is what I'm getting. Right. Acceptance. You need guys need to accept yourself who you are and what you, how far you've come is what i'm hearing you know your power your true power your true nature accept it because i'm hearing some of y'all need to be comfortable with the finer things in life too leo okay and not not and removing all guilt and shame with having you know nice things you know there's nothing wrong with that yeah, you guys are going through. Wow. Wow. Yep. See what? Yep. Yep. Look, we got you guys. We got judgment. This is a wake up call for you guys. I feel like you guys don't realize that. Um, You guys have just stumbled upon a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow or some sort of wishing well where you could uh, manifest whatever you want to manifest in your life. You feel me? Um, This is that wake up call for you to realize who you. Your power, right? And that's, that's been a common theme from some of the other signs as well, realizing your power. This is a brand new exciting beginning for you that's coming up for you guys with Ace of Wands. This is a brand new beginning that's coming up for you guys. 
right? A brand new opportunity to do the things that you wanted, you've been wanting to do, to live out your dreams, to, to be able to pursue some sort of passion that you've been wanting to pursue that you haven't been able to pursue, you know? This is you finally having that opportunity, right? I'm here for some of y'all to live out your dreams even, Leo. Wow. And look at this new opportunity with money as well. New job opportunities, new money making opportunities, new this is a new way of life for yourself that's gonna afford you to be able to, to, to tap into this luxurious energy that's around you guys, right? I'm hearing vet people out with the page of swords because you, with this newfound energy, this newfound opportunities, with the newfound money, whatever it is that's coming to you guys that's gonna bring you, that's gonna elevate you or bring you into some sort of upper echelon in some area of your life, make sure that you guys Read the fine print, I'm hearing. Read the fine print and you stay vigilant and you learn, right? You learn about this new uh, success. You learn about this new prosperity. You learn about these things so that you don't, you can take advantage of them and that you don't, um, you are not, what am I trying to say? You don't squander it. You don't mess it up for yourself, okay? What else we got here? What else we got for Leo? False person, that's what I said. That's what it's coming through for. This page of swords, you may have some people that's around you, okay, when they see you leveling up, bossing up, or whatever this is that's about to pop off for you. You may have some people around you who are trying to use you, okay? Be careful. That's why you got to vet people out. Everybody's not your friend, right? Don't let nobody in your pockets. Keep that stuff hidden from people because it's none of their business. In the first place, because there's a thief. There's going to be a thief that's going to be around you Who's gonna pretend to be cool with you? Ooh, wow! They're, it's like they're trying to they're trying to mess things up for you, right? That's why you gotta be careful. There's gonna be there's somebody who's fake around you, who's coming in to steal something from you, take something from you that's not theirs. All right. There's something official that you're coming into something official. This could be like I said, a new job that's gonna bring you in more money. This could be you winning something. This could be an inheritance. Anything, right? You may end up having to take somebody to court for them stealing something from you. Either way, you could prevent that by you not rushing into stuff, by you just not believing everything that people say, and that you knowing that everybody's not your friend, everybody don't have your best interests at heart. Yeah, because people are gonna be seeing that you know you're leveling up, you're bossing up, right? With high honor. You guys are moving on up like George and Wheezy, you feel me? And people are gonna see that. That's why y'all gotta be careful. Okay? That's what I got for you, Leo. We're going to go into our next sign. The next sign is Virgo. Okay. 2803. So Virgo, let's see what we got coming for you in uh, December. What do we have coming up for Virgo in December? What's coming up for Virgo in December? Marriage, grief, wow, y'all got a lot, illusions, okay, we have love, obstacles, on the bottom of the deck, you guys are going to have some sort of breakthrough coming through, okay? Virgo, get ready. You're going to have some sort of successful breakthrough that's coming through for you in your life, okay? So if you've been having any, if you've been dealing with any, you, if you guys have been going through any grief about some sort of obstacles that you guys have been dealing with, okay? Some sort of blockages. This could be with some sort of success. This could be with money. This could be with jobs. This could be with love or whatever, right? You guys have been dealing with some sort of obstacles and you're getting ready to have some sort of breakthrough with that, okay? I'm hearing the wait is over. That breakthrough for you is coming. That breakthrough to what? Success, all right? I'm hearing see beyond the illusions. Things are actually turning. Things are turning around for you guys. So you need to see beyond the illusions. You may be thinking, oh my God, you know, what's, why and why aren't things turning around for me? Why am I still going through this? 
why 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 you know like it, it doesn't feel like you're moving forward but you are you know you're moving forward um you have more you're vibing for more love this is self-love as well as i'm getting more compassion for yourself and this is also maybe a new love for some of you guys just coming into the scene right this could be platonic love as well platonic and also romantic love right you guys may be when it with this success and this breakthrough this could be a new job coming through for you with marriage, right? For some of you guys, if you're um, in love with somebody already, this could be that marriage proposal that's coming through. Or this this is just that union. This is you signing on the dotted line, signing a contract, signing a, a marriage certificate, signing a lease on a new home, um, a lease on a new home, mortgage on a new home, a lease on a new car or whatever. Hell, y'all know what I'm talking about. Or overall, like, you know, signing a marriage certificate, signing a job offer. You know, this is something coming through for you guys in that area where you may have where you're going to have to sign on the dotted line. OK, and I feel like it's going to it's going to take this uh, grief energy away, these illusions away. It's going to solidify that, hey, you were on the right path all along. It just took a little time for it to come through. Right. This is your breakthrough period for you guys, Virgo. December is going to be a breakthrough month for you guys. Yeah, look. We got justice. Things are balancing out for you guys. This is karmic justice, right? What you, what, all the good that you put out is coming back for you guys, and it's bringing you guys this breakthrough energy to success. Okay, through winning, you guys are winning. Things are balancing out. If anybody played you dirty, done you wrong, things are balancing out in those areas as well, right? You're getting what you deserve. What, what, what is due to you? Yeah, this is that new opportunity, that new phase, that new beginning for you with ace of wands that new exciting that's gonna make you smile jump for joy you're gonna be happy that this is finally here right you finally you bust through that rock which was the obstacle you climbed over you went around it whatever whichever way you're moving forward okay and this is exciting new beginning for you okay you got this could be uh in job area okay this could be in love area as well what else we got? Page of Swords, right? So you guys, some information is coming to you guys. Something, something that was hidden from you that you didn't know. Uh, some whatever was confusing you, that information is coming to you. Okay, in a message, somebody may be contacting you, telling you, "Hey, we want to hire you. Hey, I love you. Let's get married. Da da da. Whatever, you know. Hey, this is happening. That's happening. But either way, it's gonna be beneficial. Make sure that you read the fine print. You know. Make sure that you learn what you need to learn. Ask whatever questions you need to ask before you commit to anybody, anything, you know? That's the energy that I'm getting from that. What else we got? Ooh. Community. Yeah, you guys are, this is, you You guys, I feel like you guys are going to be celebrating, right? With this type of energy. Celebrating with your family, the happy moments. This could, it could be because it's around the holiday times too. This is you. Um, having good times with your family, right? Enjoying yourselves. A mature woman, an older woman, may or older feminine figure may may be beneficial towards you during this time as well. All right. And with community too, I'm getting that you know you guys are becoming more visible. So um, if you're trying to go for jobs, people are seeing you. You know. Yeah, you got wealthy man too. There could be a wealthy man that could be beneficial to this too. Or you could be moving into this energy as well. Some of you guys could be married to, or be getting married to, or, or getting a proposal, or somebody trying to say they like you, they're interested in you, that wealthy uh, masculine figure, you know? Or this could be you guys moving into more wealth for yourself, more wealth and stability for yourself. Yeah, privilege. Privileged lady. This is somebody, there's a wealthy man and a privileged woman. So this is somebody who... Um, like a made woman, you know what I'm saying? Somebody who, who, um, what do you call it? Somebody who has things given to her, you know? Somebody who's, who lives in luxury, who lives in a life of luxury is what I'm getting. So that's what I got for you guys, Virgo. We're going to move on to the next sign. Okay, Libra. What's coming up for Libra in the month of December? 
What's coming up for Libra in December, please? Libra, we have spying. Somebody is spying on y'all. Somebody is spying meditation. And then we have romance. So somebody's interested in y'all, Libra. Somebody want to holler. Somebody's watching you from afar, trying to get information on you, trying to trying to see. Um, I'm getting trying to find a way in, you know, trying to see if you're married or you're dating somebody. What's up with you? You feel me? This is somebody wanted to come in and bring you some romance, right? Spirit is telling y'all right now, you know, in the month of December that you guys need to make sure that you're meditating so that you can have a clear mind because you may have more than one uh, prospect coming to your life, okay? You may have more than one prospect, okay? What we got for Libra, please? Ten of Wands, and then we got the Strength. Okay, you guys have been dealing with some sort of burdens, right? I feel like those burdens, this is the end of a cycle for you guys. That's why you need to meditate. You need to meditate so you can clear your mind, okay? Clear out the residual energies that you may be uh, feeling during this time. You guys are moving more so into balance, and I feel like this meditation, you know, this quiet time, this alone time that you need to yourself, you know, to, to take care of yourself, it's gonna bring more balance into your life. It's gonna, it's gonna balance you out. It's going to, to, uh, to bring more healing, healing energy into your life as well. Especially if you've been dealing with some sort of anxiety, depression, anything like that. It's gonna balance things out. Okay, King of Coins. All right, King of Coins. We have more balance coming into your life, more stability, more security coming into your life. This may be indicative of the person that's coming into your life. Somebody who's an entrepreneur, somebody who's a businessman. Uh, this could this could be a businesswoman as well. Somebody who's into their masculine side, masculine energy. This is more stability, more security for you. Okay, uh, somebody that has that, or either you're moving into this energy as well for yourself. Okay, this is four of pentacles. All right, you guys are may be holding on to your money more during this time, right? Or a spirit may be telling you guys to hold on to your money. Don't be so frivolous with it. Make sure that you're building um, you're building wealth for yourself that you could use, you know, for a rainy day, saving, having savings for that rainy day, you feel me? So when any, anything pops off, you'll be prepared for it, right? This is money coming in for you guys as well is what I'm getting, okay? But somebody's holding on to you guys Two, on the romance side, somebody's holding on to you. Somebody's not letting this connection go is what I'm getting also. And somebody's keeping their emotions from you, right? Whoever this person is that's spying, watching you, they're keeping it to themselves, right? They're keeping it to themselves and they're, they're holding back for the time being. Spirit is telling you also to hold back for the time being, to rest, right? To rest and rejuvenate and to heal your heart, to move more so into the strength energy, to prepare for this person that's coming in. Because I feel like that's what they're doing, you know? Yeah, because I, I feel like you guys, you guys are moving into expansion. You're moving um, wherever the hell you were right now. It's it's Things are opening up for you guys is what I'm getting, okay? Things are opening up for y'all. Let's see what else we got here. Yeah, there's an ending of something, especially with the, the Ten of Wands here, too. There's some sort of ending that's happening. You're letting, you're releasing the past and letting go and moving forward, right? I feel like if, it, if it's for romance, right, you're letting go of some things from the past. You are healing your heart, right? You're balancing your mind out, and that's going to bring in a new person for you as well, okay? Yeah, this is you being more social with community, right? More people noticing you, wanting to hang out, wanting to chill, wanting to talk to you, you meeting new people, you feeling close to the people, or you feeling open to talking to people and going out having fun and all that stuff, you know? Um, what is that word? Fraternizing or whatever <laughs> is what I have. That's what I got for y'all, Libra, okay? Let's move on to the next sign. Scorpio. The next one is Scorpio. Let me get the timestamp. 
Okay, Scorpio. Let's see what the overall energy is for you guys in the month of December. What's the overall energy for Scorpio in December? Okay, y'all got a new beginning. Wow. I feel like it's going to be flying in. Look what car flew out. Action. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you guys are moving forward. I hear, I'm hear i hearing full steam ahead for you guys in the month of uh, December, Scorpio, right? You guys have a lot of thinking to do. A lot of thinking of like how you want to proceed on this new beginning that's coming up for you guys. It's time for action. It's go time. Like y'all may have been... Uh, sedentary for a while, you know what I'm saying? Things may not have been moving, but now it's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to, it's go time, it's action time, you feel me? So you got to think about what exactly you want to do, how you want to do it, and you got to think about whatever this new beginning is for you guys, how you can make the most of it, right? So that you can make the best decisions for yourself and take advantage of this new beginning for you. But it's time for y'all to, to get out the fence. It's time for y'all to, to, to get your ass up and get, get back into moving, okay? Poverty. I'm hearing a poverty mindset. We need to release any poverty lack mindsets as well, you know, that you may be dealing with and know that anything is possible, right? If you believe it, you can achieve it is what I'm getting for you guys. Don't never think that, oh my God, like I'll never be able to get this. I'll never be able to get that because things is changing for y'all, you know? You guys are closing out a cycle here with the world energy, right? This is that brand new beginning that's coming up for you guys. So it's kind of like you're given a clean slate, right? In life, we always get a lot of mini, you know, clean slates or whatever. So we got to be uh, cognizant of, of how we're proceeding and what we do with those clean slates that we get, you know? The sun energy here. Things are balancing out for you. More success is coming into your life. More peace is coming into your life. You guys are healing from the past, moving more, more, more so into happier times. That's that clean slate for you guys. So it's up to you what you do with that clean slate. Y'all got a clean slate, Scorpio. That's coming up. A brand new, exciting opportunity that's coming up for you guys. A brand new opportunity for you guys to build wealth for yourself, build security and stability for yourself. All right. In whatever area that you're wanting to build it in. This is a brand new. That's why I'm telling y'all, y'all need to take advantage of this opportunity, right? Because this could look 10 of coins, right? This could be the start of something fantastic for you guys, Scorpio, right? That's going to bring you a lot of abundance, a lot of wealth, like stability, right? This is that wealth that you need, that like retirement money or, you know, this is, this is that kind of energy here. That stability that we all want and need in life, you know? What else we got here? Unexpected income, baby. Y'all got unexpected money coming through. Unexpected opportunities. And that's this this new beginning. And with this uh, Ace of Pentacles. That's why Spirit is like, yo, when the time comes, get ready to take that action. You know? Yeah. This could be putting you in that position of wealth. Okay? This is... This is you're, there's some sort of opportunity that's going to happen for you guys. It's up to you what you do with it, right? You can take it and run and, and, and you come out being a wealthy person, whether you're male or female, right? With that unexpected money, building generational wealth, legacy wealth for yourself and your family and your friends or whatever. Some of you guys, you may be meeting somebody who's wealthy, who, who's going to help you out. For some of you guys, this is you being that wealthy person. For other of you guys, this could you... Being that privileged person who is taken care of by somebody else or somebody else helps you out in some sort of way, okay? But that's what I got for you, Scorpio, all right? Take advantage of that opportunity that you guys have coming up. Next up, Sagittarius. Next up, Sagittarius. Next stop, Sagittarius. 4416. Next stop, Sagittarius. What do we got for you guys? What's coming up for Sagittarius? Acceptance. Obstacles. What else for Sagittarius?
prosperity, a change of heart. The bottom of the deck is a change of heart. You guys may change your mind about something, okay? Something, I don't know, it could be about a person, it could be about a place or thing. But you guys may have a change of heart about something, okay? And accepting people, accepting things for what it is, right? That's what's causing you guys to have a change of heart. Because it's like, you know you know what? Um, whatever, whatever has been blocked, whatever you've been being blocked from, okay? Whoever you've been, be, ooh, if I can say it right, you know? Whoever you have been blocked from or whatever you've been blocked from, this is you guys finally accepting that, hey, maybe this is not the way for me to go. Maybe this is not the person for me to be with, right? Maybe this is not the job for me, the place for me, whatever, the friendship for me. Accepting people for who they are, accepting things for what, you know, this is not giving up. This is you accepting, hey, this is how things are going to be with this specific person, place, or thing. I'm going to accept it. You feel me? I'm done fighting against it. I'm done like the universe could have you could have had you blocked from something, right? You guys may have fought against it a little bit. But now you're coming into more acceptance. Like, you know what? I'm going to just go with the flow. You know, this is not, this is not, it ain't working. Probably ain't meant to work. And it's probably happening like that for a reason. And I feel like by you doing that, you're allowing yourself to ground your energy. Your energy is being grounded. Okay. In the month of December. And that's allowing you to accept things that you maybe weren't able to accept before. Right. And then that's going to bring in more prosperity, right? I'm hearing like, that's all you needed to do. Sometimes it's hard for us to see that, especially when we want something to happen. We want some sort of dream to come true. It's hard for us to see that. And that's normal, you know? But yeah, the moment you let go and stop fighting for a specific thing, a specific person, and just accept it for what it is. Hell, for some of y'all, it could be somebody who's not good for you, you know? And you don't realize it. But as soon as you let go, that's when things are start changing for you. Maybe not with that specific person, but it's changing for you, period, right? Yep, judgment call. This is you having a wake up call. This is you realizing, hey, this is not for me. Realizing, hey, there's no way forward for me with whatever this is. Hey. Let me focus on, let me get myself together, ground myself so that I'm not wasting my time, you know? Yeah, this is, see, that, that brand new beginning. This is you walking away from something. This is like change of heart, my eight of cups energy. You walking away from something is going to bring in that prosperity in your life, right? That new beginning. It's going to be a prosperous new beginning for you. This is you letting whatever... You've been fighting with go, letting it go completely and saying, you know what? I'm done with this. And that that moment you do that, that's when the magic is getting ready to pop off for you, Sagittarius. The moment you let go of whatever it is that you've been fighting with, that's when stuff is starting to start going in your way. Right. This could have stressed you out with bad health. This could have stressed you out if you are stressing over something. Let that shit go and move forward. Let it go and watch how things change for you. Let it go and accept like, yeah. like I said, if it's a person, if you're fighting for the love of your life or whatever, y'all know how that shit go. You're fighting for the love of your life and they're not like working with you. Things are not working out. Let them go. Let that person go. Let that whatever it is go and watch how stuff blossom and bloom for you in another area that it was meant for you. You know, see? It's somewhere else. Look what we have. As soon as I said another area, journey. Whatever you... It's somewhere else. You guys are meant to, to travel somewhere else. To be somewhere else. That person could be someone who's who lives somewhere else. Who you're going to connect with. The opportunity could be somewhere else. You know? This could be physically, uh, mentally, or spiritually. Right? But you're going on a journey. And this journey is bringing you towards... Uh, prosperity, right? It's bringing you towards more peace and more abundance for yourself, a wealthy man. Some of y'all may be meeting somebody who's wealthy who may change your life. Or some of you guys may be that person, whether you're male or female, right? That wealthy person, you know? And that's what this journey is. It was set up for you to do, right? For you to, for you to finally realize, hey, 
let me stop swimming upstream and start swimming with the rest of the, you know what I'm saying? Swimming with the, the flow, you know, going with the flow instead of against the flow. And watch how things open up for you guys. Okay, Sagittarius, that's what I got for y'all. I'm going to leave that there. Cause that's, that, was, that, that was a good reading. We're going to move on to the next sign. Which is Capricorn. Capricorn. 50-21. Alright, Capricorn. Let's see what the overall energy is for you guys in the month of... December. What's the overall energy for Capricorn in the month of December, please? Overall energy for Capricorn in December. What we got for you? Ooh. Y'all go. Ooh. Wow. Yo. Yo, you guys got. If I could pick it up. Soulmate. There's a soulmate coming into your life, okay? This could be somebody who wants to date you, all right? Things may be popping off for you guys. This may be something that you're manifesting. You guys may have been manifesting a new person to come into your life, and they're going to be coming into your life in the month of uh, December, okay? We got union, okay? I'm hearing let go of any regret that you have from anything that you went through, um, any person that you wasted time on, any mistakes from the past, okay? There could be somebody from your past, a soulmate connection from the past that is living in regret right now for... Um, not coming up, not coming into your life or not acting on something, you know, not pursuing something that is coming back through. You guys can have a reconciliation with somebody. This could be more than one person, right? There's somebody coming back to you guys who wants to, who wants a long-term commitment or marriage with you guys. Wow. Why is this a love reading for Capricorn? There's somebody from your past who wants a long-term relationship or commitment with you guys. This could be somebody who you dealt with in the past, or this could be a soulmate from a past life. Either way, a union is coming through to where somebody's gonna want to to date you. Okay, we got physical realm on here too, so this could very well be somebody who you just knew from the past. Yeah, so Capricorn, y'all got yeah, you guys are moving forward. You're elevating, right? You're moving on up out of here. I'm hearing love of a lifetime for this one too. Hermit, you guys have been single uh, long enough, right? It's pretty to say y'all been single long enough. You've taken that time. You know, you've been on your own long enough. Now it's time for you to allow somebody to come into your life. You know, whether it's platonic friendships, or were they romantic, you know? Yeah, Knight of Swords. Somebody's getting ready to come rushing in. Somebody got their mindset on you. Somebody misses you with five of coins. Reverse. Somebody misses you guys. And they don't like this distance that's in between y'all. And they're coming through. Somebody's going to send you a message. Right? Somebody's sending y'all a message. I feel like there's somebody out who, who keeps thinking about you with seven of cups. They cannot stop thinking about you. Yep, this is that reunion, three of cups. That person who somebody's coming back or somebody's coming into your life. A soulmate connection is coming into your life with three of cups. Okay? This is that celebration. This is that good news. Somebody contacting you, reaching out to you with page of wands as well. Yeah. So y'all got Capricorn, y'all got love. Y'all got love. Somebody got love. Somebody who's mature. A mature masculine figure doesn't doesn't have to be a man a man or a woman it could be either right it's just a masculine energy somebody this could be somebody who's older than you or they um or they're just very mature okay this could be somebody who's wealthy who has a lot of money you know somebody who's a business person okay or they see you as such what else we got here mature woman this could be somebody for some of you guys this could be um a mature woman, somebody who's older than you, or they just, they view you as somebody um, like that who's very mature and who they could build with. Yeah, so I'm hearing, be on the lookout for some sort of message, right? They want to make you the main person in their life or they want to be the main person in your life, okay? Well, that's what I got for you, Capricorn. There's a love offer coming in for you guys. 
Wow, I'm here. I'm, I'm thinking something else, but like, yeah, there's some sort of love offer coming in. So this is a soulmate union. I feel like there's gonna be a few people coming in. It could be, be people from the past and also new people. Okay, make sure that you're tapped and tuned in. You'll know which one to um, to accept. Whether you want to get back with somebody from the past or whether you want to move on to somebody, you know, brand new. Let's move on to Aquarius. Okay. 5520. Aquarius, let's see what the overall energy is for you guys in the month of December. What's the overall energy for Aquarius in December, please? Reconciliation. Somebody returning from the past. What else we got for Aquarius, please? Wow. A marriage, a possible marriage proposal or somebody viewing you as somebody who's marriage material, okay? For some of y'all, this could be somebody who you were, were in a long-term connection with in the past, okay? Or you were in a marriage with, right? Somebody had a change of heart. Or this could be somebody coming back from your past who you having a change of heart, change of heart for you. Like you don't feel the same about them and you're elevating. You're moving forward, right? Because maybe you, you're you afraid to connect with this person, but it could be for a good reason, right? Could be somebody returning from your past and you're like, oh, hell no. Nah. Like, I don't want to get back with you. I don't want to. I'm past that, right? Somebody coming back trying to get that old thing back, that old connection back. Somebody saying that they know what they want now. You may have balanced yourself off from this connection in the past and you've moved on from it, right? We got King of Swords, right? We got two masculine energies here. It doesn't necessarily have to be two men, but it could be. We got two of swords. This is somebody who is making plans, who's in their head about it, who's thinking of a strategy even, right? They know what they want and they what they want is you, right? It's just somebody wanted to come in to offer you something stable. They wanted to come in to offer you the world, right? But they, they want to come and offer you that marriage. This is also a marriage card. We got marriage twice. Somebody want to marry y'all. Or they see you as long-term, you know, mm, see you as a long-term connection, all right? For some of you guys, this could be a job offer, hell. This could be a job offer. Somebody wanted to, to hire you. And put you in line with making some coins, right? Two of coins is what we have here. Somebody could be juggling too, okay? Somebody could be juggling or trying to decide on what they want to do. What else we got here? It's a lot of people. You guys may have options. You guys are showing up as an empress energy, whether you're male or female. People, you're looking attractive, beautiful prosperous, that catch. You're looking like that one, that dude, that female, you know, that people really want, you know? And I feel like you're going to have multiple offers coming through because we got to look at all these court cards, King of Cups, King of Swords, King of Wands. People are strategizing to get you and they're looking at you as the prize. This could be the decision that you need to make, the choice that you need to make. You can have different options to choose from, okay? What else we got here? Ten of Wands we got here. This may be a burden for you to try to figure out who you want to deal with. Or you guys may be uh, having a uh, coming across on the end of a cycle. That end of a cycle could be like uh, hermit energy. Like you guys could be, um, could have been solo dolo for a while. But you're coming out of that energy. Yep, you're moving forward with Chariot. Things are moving forward for you guys. We got double energy here. Could be a Capricorn and four of cups. I see you guys releasing things that don't serve your highest good and you're moving on from that. Okay, what else we got here for you guys? Marriage, damn, you can't make this stuff up. Marriage, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a happy marriage for you guys. Whether it's a job, you're getting that job of your dreams or you're finding that mate, that long-term life soulmate, uh, partner, husband, wife, whatever it is, it's going to be very, very beneficial for you guys. This is something that is very, very, this is huge, okay? This is huge. 
something huge coming in for you guys, Aquarius. So let's go ahead and move on to our last sign. Last but not least is Pisces. Okay. Pisces. So what's coming up for Pisces, please? Ooh, regret. Somebody has a time of regret. Are you guys regretting something, Pisces? Regretting what you... Why am I going to be regretting not taking action towards somebody and then you lost them for somebody or somebody feeling that way about you? Jealousy, yup. I'm telling you, this could be... Y'all, so either you or somebody else didn't act when you were supposed to act and now that person is... This opportunity with a person, place, or thing is no longer there and it's causing you to have regret and jealousy, okay? This could be the other way around for somebody feeling that way about you. What else we got? I'm hearing a little too late. Yeah, new beginning. Somebody was forced to a new beginning because some sort of option because they didn't take action. Look, see, that was in reverse action. Be, due to the fact that somebody did not take action, a new beginning was forced upon them in a situation. And that new beginning caused somebody to, to have regret for not taking action and causing them je jealousy because whatever opportunity that they that they had in front of them is no longer available. It's not there no more. What else we got here? Three of coins. Yeah, somebody didn't want to work with somebody. That's what that is. Yep, somebody, somebody made some sort of offer. Okay, oops. Somebody made some sort of offer and wanted to be successful with somebody, okay? Either way, this could also show that and offers coming in for some so hell somebody being lucky somebody got their eye on somebody too with king king of wands here somebody this is somebody taking action okay for some of you guys this could be telling you if you don't take action you're going to end up regretting not taking action okay or somebody's going to end up regretting not taking action with you because you got some good coming in some sort of offer coming in for you guys something oops Something that's going to be successful for you guys. So something is coming through. Some sort of successful offer is coming through. Coming to you or you're making it towards somebody else. Okay? And somebody can scoop you up. Job. Play a person or whatever. And somebody's going to end up regretting themselves. See, this is not elevating. Wealthy man. You guys are elevating. Somebody's moving up, elevating, okay? Somebody for Pisces is moving up, elevating, is receiving some sort of gift. Gift of love, gift of life. Ooh, gift of life. Gift of a new beginning is what I'm getting too. Gift of getting out of poverty, giving, getting out of um, loss, uh, loss mentality, lack mentality for you guys. Either way, somebody's moving forward, and I feel like, if somebody rejected you or you rejected them and somebody took this, you took this new beginning, whoever that got left behind is going to be regretting and feeling jealous about it. But it's going to be too, it's too late, you know? You guys are moving towards success, right? You're moving towards a victory. So keep moving, you know? Keep moving towards that victory because things are working out for you. More balance, more security, all that good stuff. So that's what I got for you guys. Hope you guys like the reading. If you like it, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Y'all take care. Peace.